What's up, YouTube? Capital G here, Dando commentary. We got Watt Giraffe at the top, fourteen thirty-six versus Mika six seventy-six. Now, I've always known Mika to play Bujins, or at least that's what he's playing last format. Looks like obviously he changed things up a bit. Um, Watt Giraffe obviously set warning. He used warning on Marmilio. Um Seems like he has a very passive hand, just setting one card at a time. Mika is probably playing the hat deck. He sees Call of the Haunted, good. Sanctum, good. MS, man, my god. I mean, all three cards are just literally great. <laughs> I mean, Call of the Haunted is MST because he could call the Haunted Mermillo. Sanctum is, I mean, we all know how powerful that card is. And then MST is MST because, you know, he only has one card in his back row. All right, so we see Mika fire back with a uh, Car Car D. Again, I cannot advocate enough how good Car Car D is. It it is baffling how many people play Kari Bandit and Hat, but won't play Car Car D. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, right now, Watt Giraffe is getting outpaced by a lot, so he had better get a move on. He sets another card in his back row. It looks like Mika is going to get to that Mermillo. Well, I mean, one way or another. That's going to probably add a bottomless. I think Sanctum's price might be going up. I could have swore Sanctum was like $21 right before Nats because a lot of people didn't think that the hat deck was that good. And now it's like $27. All right. So we see a direct attack to White Giraffe. And set five to Mika. Okay. So we see... Why draft fires back with his own? Up, oh, never mind. And pretty much the same fate. Um, okay, I guess I spoke too soon. That gets wiretapped. But Mika attempted to do the same thing to Watt Giraffe that he had done to him earlier, and that is warning his Mermilio. The shame is when you have a Mermilio ward, it's not like it's not like the trap holes are effective against either monster on board, and it's like you kind of have to clash. Okay, so he's taking Void Trap Hole. I guess he's fearing an artifact monster, maybe. All right, so he's gonna MST his own card. I was gonna say presumably Mar Attack, and looks like White Draft's gonna max see him to at least get another card, get more options. And Mar Attack comes out. Mar Attack blows up Mermilio. Not to mention he keeps Phil presence too, so. That's 3,700 on board, which is almost enough to clear the, uh, to end the game. I mean, it is enough if he has another level 4 to go into Cowboy. Sets another card in his back row, 2. And pass his turn. Okay, we now see a Ma Thunder. I wonder if we might see Watt Giraffe and then like an Exiton Knight. That'd be beautiful, wouldn't it be? Alright, uh, we see a Mind Control. I was going to say, fear the sanctum, man. Fear the sanctum. Fear the sanctum. Alright, so artifact sanctum. Although, I guess he could void trap hole it. But then again, Mika would have three back row. I mean, there is a potential, a high potential for a wiretap. Alright, void trap hole on Murtek. Will we see a wiretap or not? Or will he not even use the effect? There's also the possibility of that. Nope. I think it gets banished, right? Nope. Sorry, it just gets destroyed. Okay, so what giraffe is going to exceed. The problem is still those three back row, right? That's why I kinda like I kinda like uh Lance this format. It's not great against everything, you know, you got Sylvans and a Light Sworn, you know what I mean? But it, it can help you beat over monsters if you play against a deck that, you know, doesn't have a bunch of or, you know, that doesn't run a bunch of back row. So, oh, man. Why, I mean, he said that Nightmare was a dumb card. Unfortunately, he didn't even get to activate his card effect. He just got hit with Black Horn. Down comes Ice Hand. I think this game's over. I don't see, realistically, him getting through both cards. Yep, there you go. All right, so Mika takes game one, pretty much commanding fashion. Um, I don't think, well... I don't know who won the die roll. Uh, I assume it is Mika because I don't think Watt Giraffe playing Thunder Family would, would choose to go first. I mean, the deck doesn't make any advantage going first. I mean, outside of like Thunder Seahorse. But I mean, you could play that going second. So it's like, I don't, you know what I mean? 
like the the deck makes so much advantage with like Watt Giraffe and you know like XC plays, but you can't really do any of those on the first turn. So, and if I'm not mistaken, I think Mika's going second again. I definitely want. I guess he wants to not have to deal with Artifact Sanctum. So he sets four. I don't know. I I'm I am not a fan of going first. I'm just not. If I have to play against a deck that can go off, man, I'll just play hand traps. And if I don't draw them, so be it. I think hand traps are fantastic this format. Because you can essentially trade, like, when you Valor something, you know what I mean? Like, you're not really, you're, you're not facing that neg one. We see an artifact uh, Sanctum. Wait, is it going to actually blow that up? Okay. Okay, so he activates Soul Drain. That makes sense. I was just like, why would you blow up an Ice Hand knowing that it's just going to destroy so many cards in your back row? So right now, advantage is even. So Watt Giraffe was able to essentially make that going first count. He's going to attack directly, and his attack goes. Both players sitting out a bunch of life points. We see a Mermillo. If I'm Watt Giraffe, I'm I'm pretty okay with that because I can I should be able to play around your trap card, the card that you search. Bottomless, okay. And it's not like that stops me from attacking anyway, you know what I mean? I don't know. I feel like Watts aren't really that susceptible to bottomless in general. Like even when they go like Ma Thunder, Pa Thunder, they go to an XC. I mean, there's nothing stopping them from going into Omega. You know what I mean? So like Omega would just be like, nope. Alright, so we're gonna see an effect. <laughs> I guess. He activates Venus Chain. <laughs> He's got a Maratex set in his back. Oh yeah, he accidentally flipped over the wrong card. And yeah, this is pretty much Maratech beatdown. Now that Maratech in Watt Giraffe's back row is pretty dead right now. I mean, even if it gets MST'd, it'll hit the graveyard. It won't come out because Soul Drain, obviously. Mika has another Dino. Damn. Why Giraffe had better respond. Otherwise, he's going to lose his Soul Drain. Oh, he lost his Soul Drain. He Torrentials. Obviously not wanting to face a rank 4. Unfortunately, he's kind of at a disadvantage right now. He completely was... He completely had advantage throughout the whole duel. Until... Dino. So, yeah. Fire hand comes down and damn. Don't you wish you had that soul drain right now? Oh well, I guess he has D prison. Will we see a wiretap? I'd be afraid of summoning any monsters if I'm Watt Giraffe right now. Mainly just because I know you have a sanctum. Oh, a torrential? Um, okay. Watt Giraffe just sets one after getting his Ma Thunder or I think that was Pa, right? No, I might have been Ma. Yeah, I'm sorry. Yeah, that was Ma. All right, so Mika hits a pot of dichotomy. Dinara, Dinara, and Mermilio. Everybody goes back. And he gets a couple of cards. And you can see that the Watt deck, or not the Watt deck, but the uh, the Thunder Family deck right now is just getting out plus. And with 5,000 life points, it's going to be kind of difficult to switch your your win condition to just straight advantage or excuse me just straight damage you see he summons Watt Giraffe he's gonna try and attack here's where I really think a Sanctum's coming out there it is now I think he just might I think he just drew that right because that was like the, the freshly set card okay Muratek being that plus one boss okay and again, Mika still has bottomless trap hole set somewhere down there. D prison for the Murrow Tech. But if I'm Mika, I mean, I got my plus one anyway, so it's not like I really care. I still have plus three right now in the game. Okay, so Watt Giraffe is going to get... Well, he's going to attempt a soul charge play for Murrow Tech. Watt Giraffe and Moth Thunder. 
Wonder if we might see the illustrious Toronto Tribute. Mika says, nah, dog, you got it. He's going to exceed. I think we might see Exoton Knight. Nope, he goes one on one. Obviously, one on one is, you know, a card that can fight against bottomless, so he felt safe going into that. MST on Muratek. He might want to, he might, you know, try and hit armor or uh, 101 and like chain a breakthrough skill or something. Okay, so he goes after the 101. Again, I think that he might chain breakthrough skill. Nope, he does not. Oh my goodness, the mind control rip. This is brutal. And he's going for an XC. I think we're going to see a terrorist sighting. And if uh, Watt Giraffe has a Void Trap Hole down there, I don't know. And you do see Terrace. He's already used 2D Presence, if I'm not mistaken. Alright, he takes that attack, and then its effect will blow it up. Yes, sir. So Watt Giraffe is just getting knocked around right now. I mean, that Terrace is putting in work. I expect a Detach during the end phase. Mika might not know which one to detach, honestly. Okay, so he's going to detach his own armor attack. We see a Call of the Haunted for a Watt Giraffe. This might be the combat play that Watt Giraffe needs. If, they, if he can get this attack through, he might be able to potentially come back in this game. Oh, okay, well... He was able to get 1,200 damage. I, I thought maybe he was going to make a better, a bigger play. Unfortunately, all he really had in him was just a regular attack. Down comes Firehand, and it's just Float City, man. I mean, I'm talking Root Beer floats out this bitch. Watch Giraffe dies from Firehand's attack. Call it a Haunted dies along with it. Terrace attacks. Phoenix Chain for Terrace. Again, not quite getting the job done. I'm not even sure what the point of the Call of the Haunted was. All it really did was do 1200. Down comes Mount Thunder. No, wait, that's got to be Pa. No, it's Ma again, huh? They just all look the fucking same. Alright, so I'm trying to I'm trying to imagine what Watt Giraffe could potentially do here. Um I mean just how can he win? And yeah, I think he used mind control already, right? Or was that in game one? I mean Mika definitely used mind control because he took his Mar attack and made a terrorist. Three back row. I don't know, I mean, maybe, maybe somebody's got to have a wiretap. Somebody's got to have a wiretap. With, uh, you know, seven back row on the field. Somebody doesn't have a wiretap. Somebody's doing something wrong. I wish people would, um, would acknowledge how good memory of an adversary is in the side deck against the hat deck. Okay, so Wide Draft does play mind control. I figured... I wasn't sure if he had played it yet, but I kind of figured he had it. My question is, what does he make from here? Um, the problem is, now that we saw Blackhorn in game one, I, I gotta be, I'm smelling a Blackhorn. Like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sensing a Blackhorn. My spidey sense is tingling for a fucking Blackhorn. Uh, there's no reason why Mika has had basically these three cards set for the entire game. Even if we assume one of them to be bottomless, um, Mika has been attacked. Uh, he summoned countless things. We have not really seen anything. There it is. There's the Black Horn of Heaven. We knew that. I mean, I, I was really guessing that he had at least one. Well, I'm sorry. I was guessing that he did have a black horn down there. Um, I think that Watt Giraffe, he's so, I guess he, everybody, everybody likes to think so much of, uh, or think so much about Trap Trick's Nightmare, but, you know, you forget about the Odies, the, the simple black horn of heavens. 
So why giraffe is still I mean he's still trying to fight back. He goes plus one with Sis Thunder. And there's the MST. So I guess Sis Thunder isn't gonna actually get to get her effect because before the end phase, no wait, I think you get the effect whether she's uh whether she does her thing or not. It, anyway, I guess it won't matter because yeah, he can hit Phoenix Chain and then he can attack and he can do more damage, he can blow her up and I mean, that pretty much should be game. He would basically need, like, a D-Prison for all the monsters on field. Like, they call it Dimensional Prison Force or something. <laughs> that would be an, oh my god, that'd be an awesome card. Like, Prison Force. That'd be awesome. So, Watt Giraffe, uh, sorry, dude, but he just got, I mean, he got beat. Seriously. Thank you guys for watching, as always. Click thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Check out my Kickstarter.